today's episode brought it's to you by Woolworths. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the Damn, Stop we lying. got some good sponsors. <laughs> Give me that. He's munching some paper? Yeah. You're saving him from the paper. Oh, he's got him. Where are we at today? We're at St. James Park. At, what's the ball's name? I keep wanting to say. That's the name. That's the bowl. I keep wanting to say AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca. That's the new name. The COVID name. The ball is called AstraZeneca. The class name is Ashtonolica. 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 Ashtonolica is a 7B and I tried it sometime in July this year Ooh. and it's a boulder that requires a cloudy day because it's in the middle of a field so it just gets sun the whole day. So the climb starts in the bottom part of here with these underclings and you traverse across this way through the step to come out right over here and then from here is where you enter the crocs. So you have to bump up from here with the heel to a sloper and then immediately bump to another sloper like cocked hand thing over here and it's cruxy because it's slopery so it looks i don't know what it looks like it might look good but it's actually really bad so it's just you're depending on friction and right now friction's not that great because the top half of this boulder has been in the sun the whole day so you from here you then just with your heel uh, bump out slash dino to a sloper on that horn over there. <laughs> Show them what I'm doing. Try hard, Faye. What are you trying hard at? Pooing. <laughs> <laughs> and now we film Travis's toes. <laughs> no! <laughs> don't look at them. Don't look at them. Come on, you have to release them <laughs> no, at some point. I don't. The heel is very close and tight and it's really fucking uncomfortable. I don't think I've stretched enough. I don't think I've stretched at all. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. And you're not even wearing your tight little jean pant today. No. And stretchy pants. Okay, so let's try this move again. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Feel scared. Feel scared to release. Pad, no, no, it's not the pad. Feel scared to release. That was beautiful. Huh. Sun is kind of blinding me, so I can't really see where I'm going. But it feels quite committing to let go of the... It feels very committing to do the next bump. Because I feel like I might just blow off completely. I want to try it in isolation. Nice. Nice. So Travis just stuck that move 
and instead of bringing his left foot in he like flagged it way out left and then just like I guess you're compressing okay. with yeah. your hips Squeeze. so I'm gonna try that yes yeah come on get the high left one Okay. Yeah. As soon as I had the left foot out to apply some pressure and squeeze, it just that move suddenly felt totally possible. The last move though, like I just hopped off before I even tried it, it feels really far. So I think we should try that in isolation. Come on, so easy. You got this. Yes. Bump again. Oh, so close! Nice, you went for it. I almost died spotting you there, because my foot was here and I was like, <laughs> holding on to you, trying to like bank myself out. In the shade. I still don't know about that last move. Mm -hmm. As I was like, trying to pogo for it, mm. I just knew I didn't, I wasn't going to generate enough. So I think for me today is to focus on how to generate with heel and either toe on or toe off to guard left. Because I, the minute I put the toe on in that little slot, it almost felt like it stopped me from generating out. And I wonder if you can generate with just the right heel. So I'm going to test that in a bit. I don't know, I didn't have COVID. I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> What did you do different? I don't Nothing. Know. Nothing. So you just Nothing. Tried harder. I just tried hard because the pads were properly set up. I wrapped it in the wrong way. Like I, there's like a spot where you hit your th your finger catches you, and that's where you want to be on. I think we all need to try this last move. I think we so need to try too. the last move now as well. Okay. Champion. What the hell? <laughs> I almost touched you and I was like, ah, just, just oh, don't touch. I did not believe it. And in the minute, Travis is just like, power through. He's right. You just needed to dial the energy up a little bit. And the hold is better than I was expecting. So you can kind of cup it. And then, note for people, my hand was still here on that right hold. I placed my heel on top of my hand. So I didn't move my hand, basically did that. Travis, go stretch. Fuck. Nice, dude. How do you top this thing? Exactly that way. I think what made the difference there was um, where I placed my left toe. I was placing my left foot sideways so I couldn't generate. So before I was trying to generate for the big move with my toe over here and I changed it this time to over here in this little corner. It's like such a satisfying move, like it feels quite powerful when you stick and you're just like, that 
feels cool. <laughs> so yeah, the the toe in the left toe in the right place made all the difference. <laughs> okay, I think we're all gonna send now. We're all gonna take a well, take a break. Well needed. Yeah. Rest, breathe. Travis is like concussed at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I still do it. It's fine. <laughs> Probably is that gonna have bruise, a bump on it? his head. It's a little bump. <laughs> come on. Yeah, come on, Adair. Come on, dude. Come on. Yes, come on. Come on. Come on, you got this. Come on. Get my finger out. No. My tail was on my finger. Oh, no. And I couldn't get it out. No. 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 I even no. tried to lift my heel higher. And you couldn't. And I couldn't. Could you have been any closer? I felt so oh. strong. I had that right hand so oh. good. Is I was it? like, because the minute I put that foot there, I was like, I had no doubt that I was going to reach that. Yeah. Um, Did you need to put your heel that high? Because me and Travis both put our heel no. lower. You just place your heel anywhere on that sloper rail, and it glues, and you can move. Mm. Yes. Come on. Same height. Are you cool? I'm forming. Are we the same height? Yeah. We didn't send. Why didn't we send? Because we were stupid about the approach to the boulder. We wanted to climb it in the <laughs> heat. <laughs> well, we should have given the send goes in this condition. Yeah. We should have just waited it out. We should have waited until later to just try hard yeah, on this boulder. because we knew exactly what to do. We did all the moves in isolation <sighs> and we tried it in the heat. The holes got worse. Now they're schlocky. Yeah, just a lot of frustration. A lot of in our head. A lot of mental game. So yeah. if anything this projecting session taught us like, or didn't teach us but just reminded us about how much of a mental game climbing can be. Sorry, I shaking. think what was so frustrating is falling continuously on the last move of a boulder. There's something like psychologically very upsetting about that. You know, if we were falling low down, be like, okay, it's not that close. But when you feel like it feels like you can't get any closer than that. And then that just keeps happening. It really just starts to erode your spirit. Thanks so much for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe and ding the bell. And yeah, we appreciate you. Nadira, you're okay? Nadira's pumped oh. filming. Oh.